Toy Story was a movie made in 1995 by Pixar and Disney, and it was the first CG animated movie of all time. I thought, you know what, nearly 30 years later, I thought I'd come back to Toy Story and give it a watch, and just to see what makes Toy Story so special. And boy, there's a lot of things that make this movie special. So boys, if you're going to enjoy the video, please like and subscribe to the channel. It would really help me out. Comment what movie you want to see next on this series. And let's get into this. So what happens in Toy Story? Well, movie starts. We get, well, Potato Head's just carrying out an armed robbery. Like, as you do. Sheriff pulls in and diffs him, really. Potato Head gets smacked apart. We move on and we realize that it's Andy's birthday. So Woody holds a staff meeting. I don't really know what they're the staff of, but he holds a staff meeting. Rex tries to be scary with Andy and goes... <laughs> and Woody rizzes up Bo Peep and then ham roast Andy's mum. Like, Is his mom losing her marbles? Well, ha ham just straight up roasts her. Goat. Then obviously we get the whole scene with the army men. They go downstairs, they carry out a scouting mission, and they tell Woody that, oh guys, there's, there's a new toy, and then the thing cuts off. Rex really gets like scared, so shaking the desk and just huh? drops the stereo thing on the floor. And then Andy's like friends like FBI, open up! bombard the room. The FBI raid it. They chuck Woody on the floor, and Buzz Lightyear comes in, and he gets placed on the bed where Woody was. Woody climbs up on the bed and stares at Buzz's ass. You need to hang up that computer call. Come over here and kiss me on my hot mouth. I'm feeling romantical. We're then introduced to Buzz Lightyear while Woody's talking to him. And I'm going to be honest, he's probably a schizo at this point in the movie. But Buzz Lightyear might be a schizophrenic. Buzz shows us some new arts in Muay Thai when Rex and Potato Head just spawn in and ask him some questions. Buzz says the line To infinity and beyond! And then Buzz flies off, gets a bit lucky. And as Woody says, he fell in style. But not at the end of the movie. Though. Woody gets really jealous of Buzz. And we find out that Buzz is part of the elite. And he says it himself, just listen. As a member of the elite. Woody speaks facts to Buzz, telling him he's a toy, repeatedly. And Woody kind of just gets thrown aside after Woody's like, <laughs> like, no one's gonna toss me aside. Like, I'm that guy, pal. Like, ain't, ain't nobody gonna toss me aside. I'm him. Then Woody just loses the plot, like, straight up. Buzz, Woody kind of just, like, he, he probably should belong in the silent and an asylum after this. I don't really know what's going on with Woody at this point in the movie. He's just... Sid pulls up and is, like, committing an act of terror in his back garden. And boys, speaking of blowing things up, my name is LV. I make gaming videos, I stream games, I make film reviews, and I talk about Star Wars. So if you like that, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, it would really help me out. Please blow the channel up. <laughs> I, 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 just make me the next Mr. Beast, I, I don't know. But <laughs> enjoy, enjoy the rest of the video. Then Woody straight up attempts an assassination on Buzz. Bye, have a great time, see you later. Then like Andy's like, oh no guys, where's Buzz Lightyear? We need him. And he takes Woody instead, much to his like despair. So he takes the cowboy to Pizza Planet. Like, boys, I'm going to be honest with you. Like, if I had the opportunity to go to Pizza Planet, I'm going Pizza Planet. Look at that place. I don't care. I don't, I don't care if I'm nearly 18. I'm going Pizza Planet. I, I'm, I'm 18 in two months, in fact. I don't care. I would still go Pizza Planet willingly. On the way to Pizza Planet, we get our first example of the Pixar theory, which the Carling Brothers make a really good video on that. That's a really good video. Go and watch that. I don't really need to shout them out because my channel is considerably smaller. <laughs> but that that's that. Linking into cars, obviously, in that super good video. Buzz, like, he stowed away on the car as they left. He then drops through, like, I've forgotten what this thing is called at the top of the car, the window, but he jumps through there. And he's like, Revenge is not the Jedi way of my planet, but we're not on my planet. And he just beats the shit out of Woody. And Woody's like, Grr, Buzz, I need to get him back. And then a truck pulls out, the Pizza Planet truck, just like, Druggy drives like, yeah, dude, like the pizzas can be late, man. Like, let's go. So they start away on the Pizza Planet truck. Woody's like, oh, sitting in the cockpit, like, it's safer here in the back. He just gets crushed by a toolbox. So they arrive at Pizza Planet and they go to the claw. And we meet the aliens. I love the aliens so much. <laughs> and Sid pulls up to the claw and is like, 
Yeah, man, I want to win one of these aliens. He wins one and he's probably clapped their asses like into oblivion with a fucking rocket. I, I wonder where I got that information from. Woody tries to stop Buzz from going up on the claw by pulling him back. But the aliens are like, nah. They, they, they just start going, nah. And they pull Woody back. And they both end up getting taken by Sid back to his house. When they back, get back to Sid's house, Sid just feeds one of the aliens he won to his, like, dog. I don't think that's healthy, but he did it anyway. He steals his sister's toy, commits double brain surgery, in his own words on it. I don't fucking know, bro. Like, Sid, Sid is not that guy. But then we get the other toys. The Abomination toys. And Woody and Buzz think they just straight up cannibalized one of the other toys. I don't really know where they got this information from, but they thought it happened. A bit even further down the line, we get Buzz and Woody hiding from the dog. I think his name's Scud. I might be wrong. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. I think it's Scud. But when they hide from Scud, like, I don't even know what room, like, Buzz ends up in. He, he just ends up in this neckbeard's room. I, I couldn't tell you what room in Sid's house this is, but he sees himself on an advert on the TV in short and is like, Ah, shit. I'm a toy. Woody was right. And Woody was right. Buzz realizes that he's a toy and, and then Buzz tries to fly. Buzz flies and just falls straight down like you'd expect him to. It's not the greatest. Buzz just... Buzz just dies. R.I.P. Buzz Lightyear. Buzz becomes Mrs. Nesbitt. After this, Woody rescues Buzz. Buzz is depressed. Woody tries to convince her toys that Buzz is alive and the toys are like, no. Potato Head's being reasonable and how I think, you know, they're not just like, we'll take Woody back off. After he straight up assassinated Buzz Lightyear. Woody tries to escape again, Buzz gets strapped to a rocket, and he's moving out. So they manage to escape Sid's yard after Woody breaks like every law in the book. And just like, tells Sid to play. So after that, they manage to get on to the back of this like, lorry thing. The moving lorry. Woody catches up and he just... He takes RC and they all think Woody's just tried to assassinate RC again. They think Woody's just taken a life of yet another innocent toy. Which just wasn't true, like, I don't really know why they all thought this, but... They did. So after they thought Woody had in fact just murdered RC, they chuck Woody off the van, and Woody ends up falling all the way down onto RC where Buzz was. Woody rides RC with Buzz, they nearly catch up, they drop down the thing at the back, and they couldn't catch up, RC runs out of gas. The dog Scud nearly gets run over here, by the way. Like, I completely forgot this scene happened until I rewatched it and nearly just watched the dog get run over in a Disney movie, but yeah. They turn on the rocket. Buzz actually ends up flying. They land in the van. And then things just go all hunky dory. Everyone kind of just forgets what happened, I guess. So then they've moved into their new house. It's Christmas. And the movie ends with them getting a puppy. Woody gets straight rizzed by Bo Peep. Potato Head gets a wife. That's the end. So. What made Toy Story so good then? Well, in my opinion, I think the animation, to be honest. We're in 2024. This movie's made in 1995. I still think the animation holds up to this day, in my opinion. I really do. I think the animation's great, and I think the colours to... I think the colours just really complement the animation so well in the movie. So that that's, too, that's the animation. I just think it's so good. Potato Head and Ham, they're just funny. I really like both of these characters at the start of the movie. Like, the first 13 minutes of this movie, it is just straight up funny. It's just all of them being brain dead, but I like it. It's really good. It, Woody and Buzz, really, over the course of the hour and... Is it 20? Hour and 30? Over the, the, over the course of this movie, it, it's just such a great character development. Woody goes from being Andy's only toy and stuff like this to just uniting with the rest of them, in a sense, and... You know, seeing them all equal. The same with Buzz. Buzz obviously didn't think he was a toy at the start of the movie. And was a raging schizophrenic for like the first 20 minutes. And then he realised he was a toy. And realised that his place was to help Andy grow up and stuff like this. So I thought that was really good. Sid is a peak villain. I think he is the weakest in the Toy Story franchise. Sorry, sorry guys. Sorry, sorry Sid stands. I do think Stinky Pete is a bit better. Even though he's also... <laughs> We'll get to Stinky Pete another time. But no, I think Sid is a very good villain. I think it's very funny to just see him commit acts of terror in his garden with no consequence. I think that's just great. <laughs> and overall, I think this movie is just such a feel-good movie to watch. If you ever, you know, for me, it's so nostalgic. I grew up with Toy Story. The movie was nine years old, 11. Actually, no, it was 11 years old when I was born. You know, I grew up with this film. I grew up with Cars, Ratatouille. 
and this movie to me is just such a feel-good movie when you watch it you know when you watch buzz fly after he jumped down the stairs and couldn't fly and then you watch him achieve that like 20 minutes later down the line at the end of the movie i think it's just great i think that's a really cool bit of development for buzz lightyear's character i think that's great in my opinion so many feel good moments in toy story so what are the negatives i i couldn't really think of any to be honest i was watching the movie and i actually couldn't tell you uh the only thing i thought was like not none of woody's friends are real ones like i'm not taking them back after that I was trying to help, you know, but like, if I, if, I, if I'm Woody, right, I can appreciate that I just killed a guy, you know, I just took some man's life nearly. I couldn't think of any negatives for the, of the movie. I think the pacing might be a bit off, maybe, but I, I, I really couldn't think of anything. So boys, that, that is my review of Toy Story. Please leave a like and subscribe if you're new here. It really helped me out. I'd really appreciate it. Comment what movie review you want to see below next. And boys, have a great rest of your day.